we are taking plants. Plants. And we're going to paint them kind of like they are. We're going to, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little hard. I, we're going to, you can decide if you want to do a flower or a leaf. The leaves are the easiest here. This is going to be the easiest thing that we have. That one. Where you paint it on it and then press it down and use it kind of like a stamp or a template. But you paint it and you paint it really nicely so that when you stamp it down, it leaves a really pretty colorful impression, okay? That's what I think that would be the easiest one to do. It looks fake, guys. It really looks fake. Mm -hmm. But with holes in it, it kind of doesn't, and it kind of does. Before we started today, I went out in the yard and, and looked around and found some uh, leaves and uh, flowers and things that I could pull from places that they weren't going to be missed. You know, ask your mom and dad for permission about what you can and can't take. Uh, I was really looking for things that had interesting patterns, like the the pine needles, um, the veins that would be in the flowers or the leaves, um, anything that you think might look cool once you uh, made prints of them. I'm going to try to paint. It's going to be difficult to paint this. Um, but I'm going to try. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm going to do my best. <coughs> Without trying not to die. You'll die. Um, no, it's just going to make me all boogery and stuff. But I'm going to do my best. See what I can do. I've never done this myself, but um, it's really pretty. Um, I think it's a Japanese thing. Uh, I don't know what the name of it is. They used to take fish and paint fish. And I had a rubber fish somewhere, and, and I wish I had it still, because I used, they use it for specifically for this purpose. Oh. Yeah, what I, what I was saying was a uh, gyotaku. It's a uh, form of Japanese art uh, that um, you would take an actual fish and cover it with ink, uh, usually edible ink, because they didn't want to ruin the fish because they would eat it later. Uh, but they would cover the uh, fish with ink, and then um, they would make a print of it with rice paper. I had a rubber fish because I wanted to make uh, multiple prints in class with uh, in, when I was teaching, um, and I didn't want to bring real fish in because I thought the kids would think that was icky. So they do actually sell rubber fish to make gyotaku with. Now, right now what we're doing is... Um, I'm actually taking uh, the paint and painting the colors of the flower itself onto the flower, pretty much where the colors are supposed to be, um, or like how the flower is actually colored itself. I'm putting like the red where the red is and the yellow where the yellow is. You don't have to do that, um, but I just wanted to see how it would turn out. I've never done this before, so I thought that would look cool. And I'm painting onto the uh, stamen, which are the... the um, those long uh, like strings coming out of the flower and then there's black spots on the top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press that onto the paper um, and spread it out and I'm trying not to put a lot of paint on because the less paint on there that you have, the more detail you'll see in the flower. Um, and I'm, I'm making sure that I'm pressing on it so that I can get all the details on there um, and then lifting it up very carefully and then when you look at it, um, it's it, it. I did get a nice bit of detail on it. Emily. Um, and I'll hold it up and you can see. That looks awesome. I am in love with that. I love that so much. I think that's amazing. Those colors are really cool. I don't know if I can get another one on there from the same flower, but I'm gonna try. The artwork that we're doing here is inspired by gyotaku. Um, it's not exactly like gyotaku, especially since it's not fish, but um, what we're trying to do is sort of like that. We're making prints from nature. Um, the gyotaku was actually like in the 1800s, it was fish making a record of the fish that they were catching in their boat um, for when they went into the port trying to sell them. Um, but here, uh, we're just trying to make a representation of the flowers and the leaves and things that we're finding out in nature. Um, and we're using colors. They don't have to be the actual colors of the uh, flowers that we find. The detail is the important thing. The colors are not as important. Here we're watching Emma getting ready to pull up her leaf and uh, she put a good amount of paint on. 
Um, her leaf wasn't flat and no leaves are or uh, flowers or anything. So, you know, she has to push down all the sides and everything, make sure that it's all the pieces uh, that she wants to get printed are hitting the paper. She's going to pull it up really slowly. She thought she had to wait to let it dry a little bit, but you don't. As long as you press down all the parts um, and pull it up, uh, carefully and you know you use the right amount of paint and everything you're gonna get a good print here oh she had a little uh, accident she dropped a little blob of paint on her print and really uh, she just I handed her a napkin and she's <laughs> she's great at it she's she's a pro she just said oh, okay and she just gently very gently uh, like blotted it up and uh, it's gone she's like okay cool <laughs> and that was it uh, so quite the pro right there she's like okay I said do you want another piece of paper and try again she's like nope I'm just gonna add to it so uh, we just kept on painting one last thing before I just let you kind of watch us paint for a little while um, just because we're making prints of the flowers doesn't mean you can't add things like paint them in yourselves even in Giyotaku, um they don't print the eyes they actually paint those in later if you watch here I'm gonna paint in the um, stem for those and Emma does that too and she I I said what are you doing at one point and she says cheating because she was painting something in there and I said that it, it really I, I said don't cheat but really it's not cheating you can paint however you want um, it's all up to you uh, this is just uh, something for you guys to be creative with do it the way that makes you the happiest um, art should make you happy you shouldn't be constricted by rules and things when you're painting um, if you're painting and you're not happy, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> That's the only rule I see. Um, you know, everybody says, oh, you can't paint like this, you can't paint like that. You know, I laughed just now when I said that, but um, yeah, because you're not always going to be happy with what you're painting. Um, sometimes painting is learning. When you're, when you're painting, you're learning exactly like how you move the brush, how much paint to put down. Like when you're doing this project, you're going to learn how much paint that you have to put on the leaf or on the flowers to get um, just the right print, you know, um, and Giyotaku, uh, when they're doing the fish, um, they put down ink and it has to be a very specific amount because the rice paper, if you put down too much ink, um, it will get, it will bleed into the uh, rice paper and it'll get spotty and blotchy. If you don't put enough down, it'll dry before you get the paper on. Um, I'm showing uh, images from uh, Dwight Wang right now, uh, what he does. Um, there's links in the description for his artwork. Um, but yeah, he had to practice a lot, um, but he, I guarantee you he loves what he does. Um, and, and I love what I do. I like making videos for you guys and I, I like, uh, painting. I love being with my kids and doing things like that with them. Um, I love watching them have fun painting. I love watching you guys have fun painting when I'm teaching, um, watching kids have fun doing what they're doing. That's my favorite thing to see. And, um, yeah, you should always love what you're doing. Uh, so that's it, you guys. I, I hope you love what you're doing when you watch my channel. And, um, I, I, you know, I, I want you to be good to each other. I want you to have a great week. Take care. And I can't wait for the next video, all right? Um, talk to you later. Bye-bye.